Next, we'll be looking in the operations of Q. Mainly operations in Q are of two types, insertion and deletion. Insertion can be called as NQ and deletion can be called as DQ. So first, let's look at the process of NQ. Algorithm NQ. Now, let's start with an example. Mm -hmm. Suppose we have an array here. Now, rear is equal to N. If rear is equal to N, uh, the Q is full. So let's take the size of the Q as 4. That is, this is the value of N. Now, presently, rare and friend is 0 because my Q is empty. I am going to insert into a new Q. Now, so the if portion is not valid now. Now, let's go to the else portion. Now, if rare is equal to 0 and friend equal to 0, then what we have to do? Friend is equal to 1, right? So, this condition is applicable here because when we begin with a new Q, naturally, rare is equal to 0 and also friend is equal to 0. And so, I have to keep friend is equal to 1. first index, second index, third index and fourth index. Now friend will be pointing to 1, right? Now, and that portion is, uh, that if condition is completed. Now next out of the if condition, what we have is rare is equal to r pl rare plus 1. Rare equal to rare plus 1 means initially rare was equal to 0, plus 1 is equal to 1 and also rare is pointing to 1. Now, I have to keep this uh, array name is Q. Q of rear is equal to item. Let it be say 20. So uh, 20 is inserted to Q of rear. Q of rear means Q of 1 is given the value 20. Now the second insertion. This is our first insertion. Now what happens in the second insertion? Uh, similar, we have not reached here. Uh, our rare is uh, only uh, 1, it is not equal to n. So let us go to the else portion. Now is this uh, portion applicable for us? Rare is not equal to 0. Now rare is equal to 1. Since we are using here an and condition, this portion becomes false. So naturally, this if condition is not applicable for us. We will go for the next portion. Now in the next portion, we have the array here. First index, second index, third index. And the fourth index. So first O is already inserted. F is equal to 1. And now uh, rare is also equal to 1. Okay. Before the insertion of the second item. Now what happens when you are inserting the second item? R rare is equal to 1 plus 1 that is equal to 2. That means now rare is pointing to the next index. And this is naturally gone. Now, what happens? Q of rare is equal to item. Let's say the item is equal to 30. So, 30 is gone to the second index and now rare is pointing to 30. Now, let's see the third insertion. That is, NQ algorithm is run for the third time. What happens? F is naturally pointing to the first index. 20, 30, R was pointing to uh, 30. Now, when we are going to insert for the third time, what happens is value of rare becomes 2 plus 1 that is equal to 3. You have the item, let us say it is 40, item is 40. So, now naturally rare will be pointing to 40. That is Q of rare is equal to 40. So, rare is always pointing to the last newly inserted value. Now, when ha what happens when you are doing the fourth insertion? Fourth insertion, f is naturally pointing to the first value that is 20. You have 10, uh, 30, 40. Uh, before fourth insertion, rare was pointing to 40. And during the fourth ins uh, insertion, let the item be equal to 50. Rare increments uh, r plus 1, that is 3 plus 1, that is equal to 4. 
now rare will be pointing to the last element that is the fourth index item is 50 is inserted now rare is pointing to the last one now what happens if you're going for a fifth insertion i've already said n is equal to 4 right so when you're going for a fifth insertion this naturally every time the whole algorithm is checked but here this is encountered in the fifth insertion you have encountering this if condition what is if condition if rare is equal to n you have to give a message q is full because we have already declared the size of the array a, a, a q as 4 where the value variable is given uh, um, n is given a value of 4 so naturally after the fourth index or the fourth value you cannot insert in the array naturally you will go for a print message giving q is full so this is happens uh, how the insertion or nq algorithm is executed in a uh, queue now let's do the reverse of this that is the uh, deletion operation okay now let's see mm. so when we are ending the fourth four insertion operations what are the values of friend rear and n okay uh, values of friend rear and n is rear is equal to 4 friend is equal to 1 right now so is this applicable friend is equal to 0 no so let's go for the else portion now what we have to do is in else you give q of friend q of friend is now pointing to the value 20 right 20 to the value item now i'm going to reverse this so naturally i will be now when you reverse the operation item will is equal to 20 q is 4 itself now if is friend equal to rear no right rear has a value 4 f is equal to that is friend is equal to 1 so naturally this is not applicable and now what else is we'll go for the else portion friend equal to friend plus 1 so what happens here you have given 20 to an variable item friend equal to friend plus 1 means you have friend as value 2 so naturally friend is pointing to 30 friend is pointing to 30 so what does this imply the first value 20 has gone out of the queue so here deletion has occurred now let's see the second one here the item is for um, not 40 the item is given value 30 the second deletion friend was already pointing to 30 now what happens here 30 is given to the value item naturally friend equal to friend plus 1 means uh, friend plus 1 that is 2 right 1 plus 1 2 no sorry it's 2 plus 1 2 plus 1 means 3 now naturally after the second deletion friend will be pointing to the element 4 right so what happens here 30 is gone out of the queue friend will be pointing to the next friend element that is 40 and rare uh, means the same now let's go for the third deletion In, uh, when we encounter the third deletion the first element has gone the value in the second index also also has gone now uh, friend is pointed to 40 now what happens when you have when you're doing the third deletion when third deletion your item is 40 uh, so naturally 40 goes out of the queue friend equal to friend plus 1 friend equal to friend plus 1 means 3 plus 1 that is equal to 4 now naturally friend is pointing to 50 okay now let's see the la uh, fourth deletion when you're going for the fourth deletion you have 
only element 50 here friend and rare also points to 50 so this is a array or this is the queue where when we are encountering the fourth deletion okay now let's see friend is not is equal to queue uh, so that part is not a uh, valid here now else portion uh, what is it now item is 50 that is queue of friend is 50 and that is given to the variable item now let's see here this portion friend equal to rear that is rear was equal to 4 and it remained 4 from the beginning of the deletion process now friend has incremented and it's going on incrementing and now it also has reached a value of 4 so this means f friend is equal to rear so if you are encountering such a situation what happens is there is only almost one element remaining in the uh, queue so what happens is you have to reset the values of friend and rear so if you are encountering this condition friend equal to rear that means you are almost in the reach the end of the queue so now what happens here is if this is the condition then you have to change the value or reset the value of rear as 4 friend as not sorry rear as 0 and friend as 0 and naturally this element has gone from here there is no friend and rear pointing they, they have only uh, zero values and that will be the end of the uh, deletion operation right so what is it friend equal to zero and rear equal to zero means what does it imply our queue is empty right now again uh, you go for a uh, deletion operation suppose you're going for a fifth deletion operation what happens here in the previous deletion operation you have set the value of friend and rear as zero right now when you go for a, again fifth deletion operation you encounter this if condition so what happens when you under, encounter this um, if condition if friend is equal to zero you give a print message saying the queue is empty right so if you have a size of array as four and you give a fifth deletion operation naturally you will encounter this condition uh, friend is equal to zero and he will give a print message saying the queue is empty so this is the end of uh, the operations in queue uh, it is implemented in array you have an n queue and uh, which implements shows insertion and this is a d queue which shows the deletion operation of queue uh, using arrays